Hi, Brain Tech here. Yeah. Where tech is made simple. Google has recently announced that Bard is getting better at logic and reasoning. So these are a couple of new improvements that Google did announce for the Bard chatbot on the 7th of June. And you may have seen some of these new improvements that we'll take a look at today. You may have not because um, it was only announced yesterday. And um, so these are still in a controlled rollout to some extent. But they say that Bard is improving at mathematical tasks coding questions and string manipulation through a new technique called implicit code execution. And over and above that, they say it has a new export action to Google Sheets. Now, just to use one or two examples um, that Google did use from that announcement on the 7th of June. And the first is um, create a table for volunteer signups for my animal shelter. And what this is going to do, while well, that just takes a second to generate, um, they say that when Bard generates a table in its response, like if you ask it um, to create, as an example, a table for um, volunteer signups for um, this animal shelter, as mentioned, um, you can now export that table directly now to Google Sheets. So as I've mentioned in a previous video, if you scroll down to the bottom of that response and the table example in this case, um, if you click on export response, um, you will now see and should start seeing a export to Sheets. Now, I'm not seeing it because, as I mentioned, it's still early days and some of these features are still on a controlled rollout, but just bringing it to your attention. So if you are seeing export to Sheets, you'll be able to directly export that table now to Google Sheets, which I think could be helpful and a nice move in the right direction. Now, um, just to reset that chat quickly and move on to the next example where um, Google has mentioned that they are using a new technique now called implicit code execution that helps Bard detect computational prompts and run code in the background. So as a result, it can respond more accurately to mathematical tasks, coding questions, and string manipulation prompts. And um, Bard will get better at answering prompts. And just to give you some of those prompts that Bard is getting better at, as examples, I'm just going to use two of the three given uh, by Google. Um, calculate the growth of and my rate, the rate of my savings. And if I just paste that in quickly, calculate the growth rate of my savings. And what this will use now is a new technique called implicit code execution um, that will help Bard generate that response as mentioned. And there you can see that's just a brief overview of um, that example, calculate the growth rate of my savings using implicit code execution. And just the last example, if you would be interested for today's video, and this is reverse the word lollipop for me, which is an interesting one. So if you ever wondered what the word lollipop looks like um, when it's reversed, here's your chance. Reverse the word lollipop for me, that'll take a second to um, generate that response. And Bart says, sure, I can do that. The word lollipop reversed is, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. You can try and pronounce that if you'd like to. And that's what lollip lollipop looks like reversed. And they also say here, uh, that um, yeah, is a Python code that reverses the word lollipop. So you can even see the code that was used to generate that response and actually reverse that word, which I actually think if you are into this type of thing is a nice move, as I would always say, in the right direction. So that's just um, a couple of those new changes, as mentioned, that Google did announce on the 7th that Bard is getting better at logic and reasoning. And as mentioned, some of these features are still on a controlled rollout. So you may have seen them and you may have not, but just bringing it to your attention. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.